I hope all the zombies we just woke up can't get up here. If they can, we might be in trouble. If they can't, that might actually be helpful to us because guess what we have? Boom. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on Alpha 21. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to go out and try our hand at yet another Tier 3 infestation in the Shamway Grocery Store. Uh, let's see, I've got some concrete cooking up in here, and with that concrete, we have, uh, we're have we going to have over 2,000 concrete mix that we'll use to do the upgrades on the Horde Base, which I will be doing um, in, during the day tomorrow and maybe even later on today, depending on how our time goes. And let's see, the forge is um, smelting stuff. I think I told you guys that I found, um, or not found, but dug a mine uh, just right over there. And uh, I found iron, lead, and nitrate uh, all together uh, in that mine. I've, if I didn't tell you that, well, I told you now. If I did, well, I apologize. I <laughs> forget stuff sometimes. Um, so... Yeah, so we got uh, a, a 2,078 concrete mix to work with for getting ready for Horde Night 28, which is going to be awesome. And uh, let's see, let's take a look at our food situation. We got a couple waters in there. Um, I want to actually make, and eh, we're really low on goldenrod. I need to go gather some goldenrod. Uh, but I want to make a, a little bit more mineral water here. So let's, um, nope, let's go here and... Cook up a couple of those. We only, we only have five left in our inventory. And uh, like I said, I'll just go out and get, uh, gather some, some more goldenrod later. So we have hobo stew. Uh, do we have any more? Yeah, let's take two full stacks of bandages with us. Um, we should... Yeah, we have pills for concussion. We have vitamins for fatigue. We got steroids for sprains, breaks, that kind of thing. Even though the cast will now heal those instantly for us because we took that first point in doctor, whatever it is. And um, then we have some fort bites if we need them, honey for infection, and so forth. Okay, sorry about that. Had to take a phone call real quick. Um, I believe I checked these last night. Yeah, okay, they're good. thing about the dew collectors is you want to... You want to continually empty them because if you don't and they fill up, then they stop producing more water for you. All right, so let's see. We got cobblestone and molotovs, pipe bombs, and I think we're I think we're good to go here. Okay, so let's head on out, and I'll meet you guys over at the chamois, the chamois grocery store. All right, so it looks like we have quite a bit of things we could double loot. But I'm not going to hit every single thing. I'm just going to hit more substantial things like food piles. We're not going to do trash. Uh, and there's a couple cars out front here. Let's hit those, and then we'll then we'll start the quest. I don't want to go too crazy with the double looting here. Uh, that wasn't even worth it. You know what? I don't want to wake up any before we actually have to start and I heard sleepies so let's be a little more quiet here all right that was good uh, let's see if we can hit the shopping cart not worth it uh, I'll get goldenrod later Let's have a separate off-camera session. Go get a bunch of that. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any more vehicles up there to do. There's a couple trash things and stuff, but let's just get started here. I have a feeling this is going to be challenging because, you know, it's a wide, more of a wide-open POI, so we're going to have less op options for hiding behind doors and things like that. Okay. Now we'll start checking things a little more thoroughly. 
And we definitely want to grab concrete whenever we come across it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep harvesting these cobblestone things. I mean, we get like three sand, five rocks, 22 clay. It's just, that stuff is so easy to mine. It, it doesn't make sense to me, and, and lead too, for that matter. It just doesn't make sense to me to take up inventory slots with something that we can super easily get by mining. So, yeah, we're not going to take that stuff. Let's see what's in here. Uh, we will take those things, yes, indeed. And we'll continue to take plastic. We need it, um, among other things, we need it to make our steel arrows now. Uh, that, neither one of these cars are lootable. Man, man, we got gypped. Either that or it was justice for trying to double loot. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's hop in to here and get this party started. Make sure everybody's loaded. Looks like we are. Okay. Where did that come from? We have, well, looks like one active enemy. They collapsed through something, but not in this room, as far as I can tell. Oh, that's just a crawler. I'm trying to see if I can time it so I can hit his head. <laughs> oh, two crawlers. Okay. There we go. That was easy enough. All right, that door's locked. Uh, looks like we have like a bunch of flour and maybe sand and stuff in here, but again, I'm not going to take the time to harvest that stuff right now. We definitely need glue, though. I mean, we're constantly using duct tape for all kinds of stuff. So we'll take that for sure. I don't see anything up there. All right, let's go. Let's climb up this ladder really quick, just to see if there's anything. There's a trash thingy up here. And some wood. All right, here we go. Mini machine. Always check the toities for water. That door's locked. All right, this is the room. Oh, okay, that's where the, the uh, crawlers fell through the ceiling there. Gotcha. All right, let's check these coolers. I see a biker Billy laying down on the floor in there. Bunch of Zeke's laying down on the floor in there. Look at them all. That's a feral big mama. That doesn't surprise me, though. This is a infestation, so we're going to get some nasty zombs. Nothing's lootable in here. Okay. Up on the roof. Let's get our pistol out, ready for buzzards. Okay, not seeing anything over here. <clears throat> is that a zombie there? Like an Arlene, I think. I think it is. I don't think she's dead. Oh shit. Take that, feral biker Billy. Who took my health down half by half with one hit. Oh boy, that's scary. Uh, let's take one of these. Because we need food and we need healing. 
Good lord, look at that. Look at my health in the lower left-hand corner. That is just scary. There's no no other way to say it. <laughs> Dang. Ah, man, I don't know if we're going to be able to pull this off, you guys. I don't know. Well, we're going to give it the best try we can, though. Oh, I'm sure there's going to be some buzzards up here somewhere. Let's make sure we're reloaded. Arlene dropped a bag in here, so let's go check that out. Lootable toolbox with some plastic. Good stuff. We'll take it. Well, we'll take that and the iron. Okay, what I'm going to do... I have a feeling there's probably going to be buzzards maybe over there. So let's get up on top of this so we have a little bit better view of what's going on here. All right, nothing so far that I can see. Uh, that's a corpse. Sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Okay, another red dot over that way. So potentially a buzzard behind the, the stuff there. Yeah, I'll bet you he's right behind that vent thingy. Let's see if we can go around to here and get a beat on him from around the side. They do such a good job of hiding these bastards. It's right there. All right. I think that's it for up here. It's I, I oh look at the red dots. I've done this POI, but it's been a long time, and of course I haven't done it yet in Alpha Twenty One. Okay, so um, those lighter colored tiles will collapse, so we have to make sure we don't oh get on top of those. I hope all the zombies we just woke up can't get up here. If they can, we might be in trouble. If they can't, that might actually be helpful to us because guess what we have? All right. Boom. <laughs> We can get them all to just kind of congregate like these guys did. We might be able to make this work with pipe bombs. Trying to get headshots on him is so damn squirrely. Looks like he's caught in the floor. All right. Yeah, let's just... Oh, my goodness. Look at all the red dots. Let's just kind of hang out here for a moment. Oh, how'd you get up here? Okay, we got to figure out how he got up here. From the, from the roof. All right, well, you know what? If they come a few at a time, we can probably make this work. You're still not dead, Big Mama? Yeah, I'll take onesie twosies. 
Okay, come on down. Okay. Uh... Okay, yeah. Onesie twosies. Come on, dude. Yeah, stay right there. That's exactly what I want you to do. Okay, we're thinning them out. I only see five more red dots running around. I'll wait for these guys' guys' corpse to disappear, and then we'll pull up real quick and just kind of see what's going on up there. That actually worked out fantastically well, though. <laughs> we just killed so many of them just with those pipe bombs. Okay, here, here's a new customer. He did. Yeah, just come one at a time, ladies and gentlemen, one at a time. Shouldn't have fired off that second shot. Three more to go. I'm just looking to see if the dots start getting larger, which means they're getting closer to us, of course. Okay, let's um, let's pull up here. I only see two more dots. Did one of them TTL? Oh no, now I see three. Okay. I don't want that mofo to hit me. You look like a normal Arlene. Yeah, you go hit the vent. It's a good idea. And then one more. Where are you? Ouch. No, nope, don't go that way. Barbed wire sharp, in case you didn't know. Where are you at? Oh, he's down there. He's kind of stuck. Um, here. <laughs> All right. We're seeing the uh, yellow dot, which is the final group. So that would seem to suggest we've cleared out. All of the rest of the zombos except for the final group, which is always the worst one, of course. So, let's proceed and see what happens. Make sure everybody's loaded here. I think we are. We're good. All right, let's go. Uh, we definitely know we cleared out probably this entire room. Well, I, no, we don't definitely know that, but I think we did. Yeah, the rest of the Zeeks are going to be it back. I think there's a vault back there, if I recall right. Assuming this is the layout's the same as it's always been. Man, there's a bunch of stuff to loot in here, you guys. Oh, that door's unlocked. Those doors are locked. I wonder if there's a button to open them up. I think I'm going to, you know, for this real basic stuff, like the stuff on the shelves and whatnot, 
I think I'm going to probably come back and loot that off camera because, you know, it's just going to be basic stuff. We were already back here before, right? Yeah, that's how we got up there. Okay, so how do we want to play this? Let's go back around through here. I think that key there is probably what's going to open this door. Um, all right. So tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to hop out here and unencumber my myself. I'll just throw stuff in the biker. Oh, you know what else we could do? We could cut, maybe cut a hole through that wall to get them. Okay, let's put a few things in here. Well, no, I mean, I'm not opposed to fudging it a little bit, but I don't want to totally cheat this. We Let's try and do it as somewhat legit. And I know that even that is super subjective. But what's going to happen, obviously, is we're going to, we're going to open that door, that thing's going to open, and then we're going to get a bunch of nasties coming through there. I mean, that's what I think is going to happen. So... What we're going to do is, and I know some of you probably do think this is cheating, but you know what? Whatever. I'm doing it anyways because this is hardcore, uh, situ a hardcore situation here is what I'm trying to say. And I don't want to die. So there you go. I stopped arguing with people a long time ago about whether or not you should block doors in this game. I think um, people need to play the game that the way the way they want to play it. And if you don't like it, then don't watch them. Go play play your own way and be happy, you know. But don't waste my time because I'm not gonna listen to you. Okay. Anyway, enough of that. Um, let's get okay. We got pipe bombs ready. And let's get this down here so we can repair quickly if we need to. And let's get this party started. All right, well, that opened that door. Oh, this door is unlocked. Okay. Is it just him? I mean, he's a, he's a feral white. He's not someone to be taken lightly, but... You know, the other thing, too, is if I throw explosives in there, am I going to damage the... Here, let's see if we can get the fat loots. <laughs> we'll loot the fat loots before we even wake him up. That's funny. Um, okay, yeah, I'll take all that. The infestation loots in a, a metal box, so it'll probably be fine. But, I mean, if it's just him, we can probably take him. Famous last words. There we go. Why don't we do a sneak? This will pack a punch. Oh, shit. Oh, all right. Well, we dealt with him easily enough. We did it. <laughs> we did it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that was... That was a little anticlimactic, but I'm I'm glad it was. I'm not complaining that it was. It's just I was expecting something a little worse than that. That being said, though, we got lucky with the headshot on the irradiated Zeke. That was just luck. Um, because he would have been really hard to kill otherwise, and he could have possibly climbed through here. And the feral white, I mean, you know, he's no joke either. But hey, we did it. All right, cool. Let's uh, eat the pears now. Get rid of this stuff. And let's we'll see what's in here first. All right, good. 
Mostly you're getting ammo, but I mean, ammo's a good thing to get from those chests. I'm not complaining about that. Let's open up the two chamois crates. Hopefully we can get some sham chowder. Nope. Um, yeah, we can eat another one of these. Man, we have got to be getting close on uh, maxing out our food. That's just normal stuff back there. None of that stuff's lootable. Okay. Yeah, so I'll, um, I will tentatively plan on coming back here and just looting this place off camera because it's just going to take way too long. Uh, and you know, you know, we're going to just get basic stuff. I'll, I'll, I'll probably you know, record myself doing that. So just in case we do come across something spectacular. Um, but I will do that later off camera because it's just, yeah, it's going to take too long. Okay, so let's go do our turn in. All right, I stopped off at the base, dropped some things off and grabbed a few things to sell. Hi, Jin. Mm-hmm. Yep, exactly. Don't okay. spend it all in one place. So, let's see. But Fortifying grip, robotic sledge, sure iron boots, shotgun shells, and steel. I'm still... I mean, some of this stuff is pretty good, but... If they're going to keep giving us 25 steel a pop, I'm going to keep taking it unless there's just something we really can't pass up. Okay. Take a look at your inventory. And I'm going to sell all of this stuff to you. And we're up to 19,910. So we can afford a yellow compound bow. You know what? It's only money. We're going to do it. Well, you just brightened my day. You brightened my day, too. I'm glad I could help you. I'm glad you could, too. All right. So let's grab all of this stuff. Modify. And let's compare. So... Wow, you know what? That didn't make that much difference. Only 1.5 dam difference in damage. How is it that the wooden bow has more projectile velocity than the compound bow? That does... Really? 59 and 62... Yeah, but that's just... Okay, hold on. I know it's not lying to me, but I just want to see it without the mods. Yeah, the uh, the wooden bow has three more points of, of velocity than the compound bow does, but the compound bow does a, a tiny bit more damage, and it's just a tiny bit more durable. That really actually wasn't worth it, but I did it. It's done, so whatever. Um... That sucks. Okay, I'll keep this as a backup bow, so I'm not going to sell that to Jen. Okay, she's got another infested clear. This, this is me, new I mama's pizza. Never forget you. <laughs> Hurry back soon. <laughs> Thank you. And I'll have a nice one okay. for you. Okay, I'm. You know, I'm just going to keep doing the infest infested ones as long as they keep giving them to me because, you know, we we get more XP for higher level zombie kills and we get better loot at the end, even though they are more dangerous. But hey. That's part of the fun, I suppose, right? All right, guys, um, I think what I'm going to do is wrap up this episode here. And I'm going to spend the rest of today probably doing a little more mining. And then uh, during the day tomorrow, which is Horde Day, I am going to get all of the upgrades done on the base. And then I'll bring you guys back right before the Horde Night starts. I'll show you what I did for the upgrades. And then we will start Horde Night 28. Looking forward to it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.